tonight at the MCI Center. Thousands are packing the arena to hear their favorite American Idol. The fan following for the show is absolutely huge. And as Fox 5's Maureen Umay shows us, part of what makes it so popular is the chance fans have of watching American Idol one year and being the start of it in the next. They are the very excited fans of the latest American Idol. You can't find anybody in the industry that sounds like Fantasia. American Idol! Lined up for hours to see the singers they not only love, but helped make stars perform in concert. I just like everything about them. Fantasia fans! This is the official Fantasia Moreno fan page. For most, it's far from idol worship. It's all about the American dream. A Cinderella story comes to life. It's one of the few chances that you know regular Joes can get to do that, so it's a pretty cool thing. John Peter Lewis couldn't agree more. JPL, as his fans call him, went from selling pens to selling out concert halls with other American Idol finalists. How can you not have fun doing this, you know? I mean, I, I could be flipping burgers at McDonald's or selling pens at the bookstore in college, you know, so it's, uh, it's definitely a plus. Now the 24-year-old is recording an album of his own, and so is 17-year-old Jasmine Trias, who still can't believe her overnight rise to fame. It has changed my life completely, especially in Hawaii. I mean, I can't walk the streets in Hawaii, like go to a store and not get recognized. It's pretty crazy because yesterday I was just in high school, and now it's like I'm a star. It's the phenomenon of American Idol, a pop culture fantasy that can turn a fan famous. Everyone wants to be a star. Well, no word yet on how many contestants from our area are headed to Hollywood for the next round, but by judging by past seasons, we expect about 20 people from this area to get the nod. And, of course, they will be joined by dozens of others. The auditions don't stop here in D.C. On Thursday, the show moves to Orlando. They will then stop in New Orleans, Las Vegas, and Anchorage, Alaska, before finally wrapping up October 5th in San Francisco. A hmm. whole new set of people who want oh, to be yeah. And, you know, one local gal, Tamara Gray, did so well. I think she's from Gaithersburg yeah, originally. Right. Yeah, so. she did very well. Who knows?